Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number 12, the last war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance R7. All right. Now, if we win this war, we have a good chance to be platinum, uh, three. If we lose it, maybe we might get platinum three. We'll see. Uh, who are they banned? Ooh, they banned Human Torch, Spider-Man 2099, and Ghost. Man. All right. Let's uh, peek in, see who we got to deal with. Oh, interesting. All right. Um, so the first one is uh, Silver Surfer. What is the global mystic dispersion? All right. Um, we have no one on that node, and we have Man Thing, but we have a solution for Man Thing. Hopefully, it'll work. I'll bring in White Mags, apply that, and Mad Mardigan uh, will take him out, I believe, with Thing. Let me see. Yeah, he'll take him out with thing. All right, and let's see. We don't worry about the middle. Okay, here we've got Kitty Pride. That can be a pain. Um, but Nebula maybe. We'll just have to see. Uh, there's our old buddy Colossus. We already know what's going to happen to him. Uh, along with um Spider Gwen, that evade of hers. Ugh. So Claire can handle the paths. Mad Mardigan will take care of that man thing. I'll bring white mags in for that. Uh, I'll bring in Nebula. So that's pretty much my team. Claire, Nebula, and white mags. And uh, might be able to take both of those. We'll see. And I won't take this Black Widow or Black Panther Civil War until they take down the boss, if I have to do it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Without further ado, let's get to the fighting. All right. We are back, and this is the final war of the season. Right now, as I'm recording this, we have still not gotten our uh, Alliance War rewards. Uh, they're very late. They should have come in hours and hours ago. They're delayed. I'm not sure why okay uh but anyway so first fight is going to be against silver surfer you see the uh buffs that i have to deal with for him uh, i'm not anticipating any issues this node is pretty straightforward and easy and he's not that difficult unless you have him on that buffed up thing in aq map 8 which i have to fight because that's my path so I'm actually pretty well versed in how to fight a uh, silver surfer. It's not that hard unless the nodes make him difficult. Now you saw that I boosted up kind of big. This is the final war and I don't want to make any mistakes. Now, if you watched the last war, I think um, two wars ago, uh, we lost and we're wondering if that eliminated our chances to get to platinum three which will be the first time we've gotten platinum three since i've been in this alliance we always are in platinum four but we actually made a platinum three push and we've got some uh really good guys in here really good fighters and it brought out the beast in me because i didn't want to look bad uh these guys were rocking it and i was like okay you know what the least i can do since they've taken over mini boss island and um you know the boss and everything the least i can do is try not to die on my path and on these minis all right now i didn't have anybody for that node there but there's our favorite guy man thing but we implemented our plan which has been working beautifully by the way uh so i went in put the uh pre-fight on him let my alliance uh, mate know, and boom. As you can see, he got it one shot. No deaths um, on the left side anyway. All right, so here we go. And now we've got Kitty Pride on this node. But guess what? 
I've got Nebula, who is really good for this node. It used to be that this node was sort of a race. I didn't go in with the best counter. You know, like, for example, I would bring in Spider-Man 2099 because he didn't get buffs. So I didn't have to worry about the EMP modification. But there were other things I had to worry about. Um, but usually he could do it. Uh, sometimes, depending on who it was, I'd bring in Nick Fury and just try to, you know, DPS them down. You know, try to fight them and beat them as fast as possible before I died uh, without doing too much dexing. That worked too, but it's very stressful, okay? Um, but Nebula, as much as I don't really care for the play style, I'm warming up to it because it's just so effective. All right, so you see here, I'm trying to push her back and she's steady trying to kick me. She really wants to kick me. She want to kick me into oblivion. Look at this, look at this. It's like, come on, I'm just trying to be over here. Don't worry. You know, see the power drain, but that's okay. We got the shock. Look at that damage. Look at the health. Phase that. No. Nebula is probably one of the better rank ups that I've made for war. Now, of course, they might change everything all over the place and, you know, she might not be as good, but that's fine. Uh, for right now, she's kicking butt. All right, here we have our favorite, uh, Colossus. And so far I'm doing well, okay? And I'm pretty sure Nebula could have done uh, this fight as well, but I like taking it with um, Black Widow Clairvoyant. I just, I just like her. I don't know. She seems to be just like perfect, especially if I see Colossus on this node. It's Claire all day, every day. You know, uh, on the live stream today, people were asking me about uh, my possible rank four, depending on what class it is. And she's definitely going to go to rank four at some time. I don't know. It'll be uh, between her and Doom. And depending on what the class is, if it's a mystic, it'll be whichever one I don't choose. If I choose one of them. Um, there's also Kitty Pride. Uh, I might take her up. So I have lots of options for rank four uh, of champions that are pretty good. Uh, that I actually uh, don't mind playing. You know, I don't really want to uh, rank up purely for prestige. But uh, chances are, if the no or if the uh, three to four uh, rank up gem is cosmic, then yeah, it'll probably go to Silver Surfer. I mean, I'll just have to. I've already taken up uh, my favorite champ from the Cosmic up to rank four, which was Hercules. Okay, now, I was tempted once again to go in here with Nebula and use that um, Nebula style, I guess. But I wanted to save her for this mini. Didn't want to uh, die either. Now, I remember when Spider-Gwen, nobody liked her. Uh, I always did. She was my guilty pleasure. I loved playing uh, with her, but she just didn't do a whole lot, you know? Um, but now, those evades, oh my goodness. Those are insane. So what you'll notice how I fight her um, because of all those evades is I don't really do five hit combos, okay? I'll parry, you know, and I'll try to hit while she's stunned. Okay, that's it. So you see here, you know, every time while she's stunned, that's it. That one, see, she wasn't stunned and she evaded, but I only attack once and dash right back because I was expecting it. Okay, so here, look at that. And I think he had limber. Uh, so it went from being able to do like a two or three hit to only like a one hit. Look at that. And then I was like, oh no, I messed up. Ah, but. I recovered in time and down she went without too much difficulty. Uh, but she could have taken a huge chunk. If she had landed that uh, hit, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. All right. So this here is my final fight of the season. And 
I was a little nervous because I was like, well, this is Black Panther, Civil War. I know he's annoying uh, because of, you know, his armor ups. I know how to fight him, but I was trying to think, should I fight him with Mystic Dispersion up? And is he actually that difficult on this node? And I'm like, I don't think so. I think Nebula is going to just tear him up. So I went ahead and, and did the advanced power boost. And don't ask, I just put on uh, Mags's uh, guidance just because. I don't think it really mattered or helped or anything like that, but why not? All right, so we're just doing the Mags, uh, the uh, Nebula dance. And I have to watch because his heavy attack is really annoying. And I don't want to accidentally uh, parry him, even though the shock will get on him. He'll uh, stun me. So I have to really fight my instinct here not to dash back. So here we go. You see here. And then I push him back a little bit. He's just, ugh. All right. I'm dexing on the wall. Just dexing on the wall. Now I got ten, uh, I got full charges. So now I need to parry. Boom. Got the parry. Wham, wham. Boom. Fight's over. Nebula's a beast. She is a beast. I think she is very underrated, definitely by me and by a lot of people. All right, so that was it for my season. And we'll be back in a little bit. And we really need this win. We really do. All right, so we'll be back and you'll find out whether we won. And we're back, and we won the final war of the season. So we actually now have a chance to get Platinum 3. Like I said, we haven't gotten the rewards in yet. So uh, I don't know whether we made it, but so far it's looking very good uh, that we will make it into Platinum 3. Just barely. Uh, but this war... Um, I don't know whether they threw the war or not, to be honest with you. Uh, they may have just seen that they were going to be in Platinum 3 no matter what the outcome of this war was. And so they just didn't put in that effort. Uh, that might be. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Look for my next video, which will be, hopefully the war rewards, and an opening. I should be able to get definitely two. And if we get platinum three, I'll be able to open three six stars. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.